we want to determine a possible equation for the given graph using the cosine function. We will determine the equation in the form y equals a times cosine of the quantity bx plus c plus d, where the absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude, and if a is less than zero or negative, the graph is reflected across the midline. Two pi divided by b is equal to the period. Negative c divided by b is equal to the phase or horizontal shift and d is equal to the vertical shift. Remember when graphing one period of the basic cosine function, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. Of course, if there's a reflection across the midline, then the pattern would be minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. Looking at our graph, the first thing we should recognize is this graph has been shifted up. Notice how the midline is y equals one, so because the graph has been shifted up one unit, the vertical shift is positive one, and therefore d equals positive one. And now let's highlight one period of the given graph that resembles the cosine function, which means we need to start at either a maximum or a minimum. So notice how if we start here, where x is half the distance from zero to negative pi over four, we have a maximum, and then following the pattern we have midline, minimum, midline, maximum. So if we stop here, so if we stop here, we've highlighted one period of the given cosine function. So let's focus on this piece to determine a possible equation. Remember the amplitude is the distance from the midline to a max, or the distance from the midline to a min. So because this distance here is positive three, we know the absolute value of a is equal to positive three, and because the pattern of max, midline, min, midline, max is the same pattern as the basic cosine function, there is no reflection, and therefore a is equal to positive three. And now let's determine the period so we can find the value of b. Well notice how we're starting here at our next value, which would be negative pi over eight, half the distance from zero to negative pi over four, and then we stop here, which would be three pi over eight. Notice how if we count by one eighth pi radians, starting here we'd be at zero, one eighth pi, two eighths pi, which simplifies the pi over four, and then three eighths pi radians. So notice how this horizontal distance is four eighths pi radians, which is one half pi radians, or pi over two radians. We know two pi divided by b must equal pi over two. So because two pi divided by b must equal pi over two radians, we can now determine the value of b. To solve this equation, we can cross multiply, or multiply both sides by the LCD of two b. Simplifying, before multiplying, we have two times two pi, which is four pi, equals pi times b, and now to solve for b, we divide both sides by pi. Simplifying, we have b equals four. Now the last step is to identify the phase shift so we can determine the value of c. When graphing the basic cosine function, we start along the y-axis, but notice in our case, we are starting at x equals negative pi over eight, and therefore the graph has been shifted left pi over eight units, which means the phase shift is negative pi over eight. And therefore negative c divided by b must equal negative pi over eight. And we know b is equal to positive four, which gives us the equation negative c divided by four must equal negative pi over eight. And now we solve for c, we can cross multiply or multiply both sides by the LCD of eight. Let's multiply both sides by eight. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one four and four and two fours and eight, which gives us two times negative c or negative two c equals, simplifying on the right, eight divided by eight simplifies to one. So we just have negative pi, dividing both sides by negative two, and simplifying, we have c equals positive pi over two. Now that we know the values of a, b, c, and d, 
we can determine a possible equation for the graph using the cosine function. One possible equation is y equals a, which is positive three times cosine of the quantity bx plus c plus d, which gives us four x plus pi over two, and then d is one, so we have plus one. This is one possible equation that will give us the given graph. As an extra example, let's now find a different equation that will give us the same graph, now using a reflection across the midline. So let's go ahead and clear our work here, and let's highlight a different piece of one period of the given cosine function. This time, let's start at x equals pi over eight, which is here. Notice how when x equals pi over eight, we have a minimum rather than a maximum, and therefore we will have a reflection across the midline. So again here, x is equal to pi over eight. And then following the pattern, we have minimum, midline, maximum, midline, minimum. So we'll stop here, where x is equal to five pi divided by eight. Let's use this piece of the graph and determine an equivalent equation. The midline is still y equals one, and therefore d is still positive one. The amplitude is still three, this distance here, but now because of the pattern of minimum, midline, maximum, midline, minimum, we have a reflection across the midline, and therefore a is no longer positive three, a is negative three. The period is still pi over two radians, and therefore b is still four. Notice how two pi divided by four still gives us pi over two radians, but now the phase shift is different, and therefore c is not going to be positive pi over two. Notice now the phase shift or horizontal shift is right pi divided by eight units, and therefore negative c divided by b must equal positive pi over eight, not negative pi over eight like last time. So we now know that negative c divided by b is equal to positive pi over eight, and b is equal to positive four, so we have negative c divided by four is equal to pi over eight. Multiplying both sides by eight will clear the fractions from the equation. Just like last time, simplifying, there's one four and four and two fours and eight. Two times negative c is negative two c. On the right, eight divided by eight simplifies to one, leaving us with pi. Dividing both sides by negative two and simplifying, we now have c is equal to negative pi over two. So now we can find a different but equivalent equation that will give us the same graph. We have y equals a, which is now negative three, times cosine of the quantity bx plus c, which is now four x plus negative pi over two, or just minus pi over two, and then d is still positive one, and therefore we have plus one. Both of these equations will give us the same graph shown below. I hope you found this helpful.